Hey everybody, my name is Glenn, and the name of my blog is DIYEG. It's meant to be a combination of DIY, which stands for Do It Yourself, and YEG, which is the airport code for Edmonton, where I live. My intent was for readers of the blog to learn alongside me as I tried to tackle some DIY projects and documented my progress. I wouldn't necessarily have been able to answer a lot of reader questions myself, as I'm certainly not an expert in the DIY field, but I hope to spark some interest and inspire others to make things they might normally buy at a store or do things they might normally hire someone to do. I also wanted to focus on Edmonton and some of the neat stuff that's going on right here. Over the course of the semester, I blogged about framing some mementos from a recent trip to England and about making mozzarella cheese from goat's milk. But my favorite project over that time was building a book safe. It was pretty simple, but the end result was really neat, something you usually only see in movies. I have a second textbook to give it another shot, and I hope to take some of the lessons I learned the first time around and apply them to that project. I also did a Q&A with a representative from the Edmonton Tool Library, which I enjoyed writing because it highlighted a local initiative that I think is important, and it played to the strengths I've developed in my journalism career. Overall, I found that, although they were time-consuming, the project posts seemed to gain the most traction on the blog, while my attempts at curated roundup posts did rather poorly. As the blog's audience builds, I could see those roundup posts becoming its bread and butter, but for now, it might be best to focus on quality of posts over quantity and invest the time to write those project posts really well and make them visually appealing. I also found that Facebook was consistently the number one referral site to the blog week after week. I can use this knowledge to get the maximum return on the time I invest in promoting the blog. DIYEG was a fun exercise, and I can definitely see how the social media strategies we learned would translate to a professional setting. These lessons will be incredibly valuable as I move forward in my career. Big thanks to my classmates for commenting on some of my posts, and big thanks to my wife for putting up with me cussing under my breath when projects weren't going as planned. And thanks to you for watching.